Hello, friends and neighbors, and guys and interneters and hey. So um, anyway, I was out in the shop, and uh, yep, it's another piece of junk from Harbor Freight. Um, and actually, this one isn't a piece of junk. This thing works, but just like nine out of ten other things at Harbor Freight, you need to be willing to uh, put hands on it and uh, consider everything I buy from Harbor Freight. I kind of think of as a DIY project. Um, what am I gonna have to fix with it? What am I gonna have to make better with it? Well, this is another one. Um, right out of the box, most of the time they work pretty well. I've had three of these things. Uh, the first one had no bzzz on, on when I first bought it. You can put some liquid in here, turn it on, um, and you can even, you don't even have to have liquid here. Okay, so Harbor Freight, I think this will fit. Yeah. So set your time. Hear the, if there's liquid in here, there'd be a. I don't know how good that is for it, so I'm not going to do it very long. But if you buy one of these and it doesn't have that buzz right off the bat, your stuff's broken. You want to go back to your neighborhood Harbor Freight and you want to take that back. And you want to get your money back or you want to swap it for a new one. So if you buy one and it does the and you get the you get the noise, you got a good one. Now, it's your responsibility not to destroy it. So I said I've had three. I broke one of them. One of them was dead on arrival. This is Mr. Number Three. So, how did I break it? Well, when you fill this up with fluid and you want to go, like, after you've used your fluid and you want to pour it out or um, if you overfill, there's a max fill line. That's how I broke mine. If you fill it up beyond that max flow line, fill line, I wasn't thinking. And uh, what happens is water, you get a little water intrusion beyond this lip. You get this metal bowl and then you got this plastic housing. And in between here is a Harbor Freight quality gasket. And that gasket... It's Harbor Freight quality. It's a silicone gasket and, and it does okay, but you can still get water between here. When you get that in there, the smother, the board that operates this thing is just sitting, it's got some little standoffs, but it's sitting down in the belly of the beast here, so you can destroy it. And that's what I did. So I got another one. Um, did, did the buzz check and it works fine. So then what I said was, we're going to fix this. Silicone caulk. This stuff doesn't shrink, it doesn't crack, it won't break down, it won't wash away, and it won't yellow. Be pretty forever. So go get yourself some silicone. You, I mean, you don't have to use this brand. It doesn't have to be GE's, whatever number this is, but it doesn't have to be that. Just go get some. Some waterproofing agent. And there's two different places you can... Uh, you can improve this. You can squirt it. You can basically take all this apart. And I did on this one. I've got some video, but unless people say in the comments they want to see it, I'm not really going to upload it. But basically, you, you can take it apart. Take this out. There's a board down here. You have four connections on the board that you have to undo. And then there's a connection here kind of to the panel that goes to the bowl. You have to undo those. And then you can basically silicone inside here the joint between the bowl and the housing. I did that. I don't know how well that's going to help because you're kind of siliconing on some silicone gasket. I don't know. So the next thing is to come in with, and this is what's been done here and it seems to be working. Um, come in with that same silicone and just fill up this, this gap all the way around. And that's what I've done here and it, it, it seems to be holding up. Um, I can't, you know, if you fill this up, if you do that, and then you blow your thing up, hey, whoops, sorry. But so far, it's working for me. Um, it must have been because you didn't buy this one. So anyway, if you want to upgrade or help or keep your ultrasonic cleaner, ultrasonicing, um, that's a good way to do it. All righty.